Hey guys, Kev here, and I have another unboxing for you. I mentioned in my Arcform Slimfoot unboxing, I had a bunch of stuff come in today. So I'm kind of just filming these as I go here because I want to feel this gear. And I really don't feel like waiting till tomorrow to open them. And I want to unbox them with you. Um, this right here, guys, is going to be the Giant Mouse Ace Riv. I picked one of these up on the secondary. Man, this feels really light. Um, picked one of these up on the secondary from a good buddy on Instagram, Brandon. Um, he's a great dude. We talk all the time. And uh, after seeing Jake Bearded Gears uh, videos on the Riv, and uh, you know, I had some extra cash, and I just decided to grab one, and I wanted a full titanium one. Uh, so I did end up buying this from Brandon, who was selling it. Um, when they first dropped, I didn't get one because I just was spending so much at the time. And uh, I just had so much stuff coming in, and I just needed to kind of chill out a little bit. Which I didn't, of course, but I didn't pick up the, the Ace Rib. And then they were gone, right? So when Brandon had one available and seeing Jake rave about it, I kind of wanted to check it out, even though it is a tiny right-hand frame lock. I'm a little worried about the opening and closing, excuse me, being left-handed. So we will see how that goes. In honor of Jake, I also have here um, a package from Teespring. I believe this is from his Teespring shop, and this should be a brand new Bearded Gear shirt with the new logo on it. Uh, he kind of threw it together while me and uh, Kyle uh, from DTOM Nisa Gear, we were all chatting, and I said, why don't you have the new design on a shirt? And um, he just kind of threw it together while we were on the phone, and I went ahead and just bought one. I think Kyle did too. So you should be seeing those soon. The unboxing knife for this is going to be the Arc Form Slimfoot. I just opened this bad boy. A plain titanium Riot made knife. So I'm starting to build a collection of those. And this Giant Mouse Ace Rib is also plain titanium Riot built. So let's get into this t-shirt real quick. Oh, this slice is like butter. Okay. So, this is a cool shirt. I've been meaning to get a new one from Jake. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Bearded gear. You got the cool beard mountain thing going on. This is a 2XL, and I think I just got it in black. I thought I chose a color, but I guess I had my wife choose, and I guess she chose black. But what do you think, guys? This is a cool shirt, cool design. Um, I believe Nick from Niche Designs helped Jake with this design. Super cool. Uh, so I'm kind of stoked about uh, getting this on. And uh, obviously, you know, I do a lot of advertising for Jake, but he's a really good buddy. And um, I love his stuff. So, and I love his content. So I am happy, happy to do it. Uh, let me put this down real quick and we can get into the knife. So again, this is the Giant Mouse Ace Riv. Try to be careful here because I'm excited. Uh, it's not cutting through this cardboard very well, but... Oh, there we go. No, it is. It is a thick stock, so you got to keep that in mind, right? All right, so empty package. Boom. Gonna put away this slim foot, might use it to compare size, but uh, this thing's cool, man. I really am liking this so far. I think I gotta, I gotta do a little bit to the action to get a little more drop shut, but uh, I'm really liking that knife. All right, giant mouse, standard stuff here. See how small this, oh my lord. Yeah, this is a tiny knife. Look at this, guys. I did not realize how small it was. And it's just been banging around in there the whole time. That's, you know, you would think they would wrap it up a little bit, but maybe that was Brandon who didn't do that. Wow. Holy cow, guys. This thing is tiny, guys. Look at this thing.
This is a three and a half inch blade, right? Look at that. This knife isn't even three and a half inches. <laughs> it's tiny. Uh, here is the another box knife, the F5.5 from Urban EDC. Hooey, look at this thing, man. Thing is tiny. Man, I've heard so many good things about it, too. So this is interesting. Wow. Okay, so we are centered. Uh, again, this is Riot, so I'm not too um, blown away by that. I pretty much expect it. We have a wire clip right here that is not really deep carry. Uh, you really would think on a knife this small, they would go all the way to the butt end with that. And I wish they would have made it reversible, but I guess they figured since it's a right-handed frame lock and it's so small, they would just completely, you know, leave out the lefties. That's my theory on that one. They just said, screw you, lefty. Uh, they didn't want anything to do with me, so uh yeah has the classic uh vox nez jimping on it right here on the blade um yeah i am really interested to see how the action it's a very small flipper tap with a little bit of jimping but it kind of is hidden in there so uh let's see okay so the detent is very good on this um okay has a detent ramp Action is, you know, it's a tiny knife. See if I can middle finger flick it lefty, right? All right, let's try that again. Okay, I got it, but I was really trying there. Um, I think with the frame lock there, it's just a bit of an issue. Not to kind of, you know, get my finger in there. Maybe a thumb flick would work left-handed. Yeah, so thumb flick kind of works. Man, this thing is really small, guys. Now, right-handed, you know, I can flick it out that way. You yeah, see, I'm getting pressure on the frame lock there. Ugh, right hand. Man, I don't even know how righties use this knife. It's so small. <laughs> All right, so flipper tab, right? Flipper tab works left-handed, so that's probably going to be my primary opening method. Now, let's see here on the ergonomics, right? Because that's where this thing is supposed to shine. So, we'll choke up here, and we'll put my index finger up there, ring finger here, middle finger here, and yeah, I can get them all on. Wow, interesting. And this is a very thin, slicey blade, guys. Wow. Interesting. So right-handed, the flipper works real easy, right? Left-handed, I really want to spidey flick it because I love the spidey flick, you know? Okay, so if I just kind of put my thumb up here, on, if I kind of just go to the pivot, right? Just put my thumb on the pivot, then I can do it. It's just not very intuitive because, well, let me do it off camera and see. Yeah, it's not so bad if I do it off camera. Yeah, so it's hard to hold things up like this sometimes and do it. But there, I'm getting used to it, right? And this thing is small, but it is slicey and uh, it feels really good in my hand, guys. Although the jimping's a little far back for me, honestly, I think up here would have been good. But I don't think this knife was made for somebody with my size hands. You know, I have a large to XL glove size. And, you know, I can literally just get my thumb up onto the tip if I want to. So I can kind of go up here to this curve and then hang on there if I really wanted to get some precision. Um, and then you can do the pinch grip like this. Um, interesting knife, guys. Wow. I know a lot of people think this is like an upgraded Pilar, I think they said, uh, which I never had one, so I didn't know the size. I really do like the flipper, actually. Riot dialed that detent in really well with this thing. Um, yeah. Man, I, I like it, guys. And uh, I believe my buddy Brandon swapped this um, backspacer out with a titanium one. Um, I can't be 100% sure, but I think it came with a brass one. And I, I really like that he did that because it 
one, it takes the weight away from the brass uh, being in there. And the color is, you know, it kind of goes along with the other plain titanium ones I have, like the uh, F5.5 here. These are basically little brother, big brother, right? Uh, really cool look on that. That's awesome. And then I have the slim foot that I just got as well. So that's cool. Uh, man, I just love Riot right now. They're just killing it. This thing is getting smoother and smoother every time I open it. And so is this. Oh, man. Woo! Okay, guys. Uh, one hell of an unboxing day today. Yeah, it works. If I just don't think about it, if I just grab it out of my pocket and go to flick it, it works. I mean, and I have this cut right here from uh, pinching my finger with my pry bar. And, you know, that kind of hurts a little bit, so it's it's part of it. Uh, I wonder if I could use my... No. But the thumb flick... Yeah, I mean, I can open this knife different ways... For a lefty with this frame lock, you wouldn't think so. I really like this thing, guys. The size is growing on me. Let me check the clip out. Clip, really good. This would be a really good fifth pocket knife. So, um, I'm really digging it. I am loving it. Um, this is the Giant Mouse Ace Riv, guys. Uh, I will get you first impressions, review all the good stuff as I use it, carry it. Uh, and I'll let you know what I think. Uh, but it's a really cool, lightweight little knife. Uh, kind of comparable to the Spyderco, uh, what is it called? The Little Native. Uh, really cool. So I will shut up now and I'll let you go. I hope you have a great day. And I will catch you later.